So you got yourself in a pickle right now. I get this call all the time. I'm thinking about buying, but I'm also really accustomed to renting because it's easy. I don't have to maintenance the property. What's the best choice for me? So 2025 is right around the corner and I suggest that you do a pros and cons list of renting versus buying. You guys can Google it. You're gonna see that the experts say that the most wealthiest people in the United States own real estate, not just one, but a few different properties. Um, so number one, make sure that you understand your budget. Make sure that you know what you're going to be paying in rent or what you're going to be paying in a mortgage. Um, some of the greatest pros about renting is you do not have to worry about the maintenance of the property. That's normally something that the landlord takes care of. And if you have a good landlord, then they're also, also taking care of any of the nuances that pop up. Now let's look at the flip side if you're thinking about becoming a home buyer and you're going to own your own home. Number one, you're going to grow in equity. Not only are you going to be hopefully saving money because of your tax benefits, but your home is going to increase in equity. My very first home I built for $55,000, just about 21 years later, we sold it for $252,000. That's a $200,000 increase in 20 years. You cannot save money in your bank account to make that kind of difference. So think about these things if you really are truly thinking about becoming a homeowner. And equity is great because it's just like money in your bank account that just sits there and keeps growing and growing. That's why if you look at anything, if you Google like what do the most wealthiest people in the United States do, they own real estate. So hopefully this video helps and hopefully one day you will become that homeowner that you want to become.